Okay. You can hear it's pissing down, raining at the moment. Not pissing down at the moment, but it's fairly steady. It has been pissing down. It's not good for my demos. So the paper keeps curling. Gonna leave out the contrast. Let's see what we have. We have here. We'll just show you the back of it first. So this here is, you can see, it's a, a can, an empty can of the um, sugar-free energy drink. So I'm going to use this as our piece to demo with. Challenging. Just going to try and see where that A5 is. A5 is there. And we're just going to roll it. Don't think it went well. I could be wrong. I don't feel very steady with my hand at the moment. Yeah. whoop de doo da Shit. Whoopee! not I hate it when that happens I hate it when I get a bad one just try and line that up how that went Yeah, that shit house. Fuck. It's not happening. I hate it when that happens. My demos have been pretty shitty today, folks. I haven't had a very good run of what I'm doing. I don't seem to be achieving much as I'd like to. I just seem to be fucking them up. Making these really long demos. These demos have just been so long, prolongated like shit. Trying to get something really nice and workable, and all I get is this fucking shadow shit. That uses. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna get that V out of the shadows and into the light. doing a bad job folks I just can't get it it's not happening I, mean, I, got, I really get sick of fucking things that don't happen things that don't work I just seem to be getting just bits fuck I mustn't talk while I'm rolling so yeah just be just bear with me folks Something for all we know, don't know. I don't have to get all of the can, just the front. Yeah, not perfect, uh, but good enough. I think we can work with that. Uh, that looks all right. I think we can use that. It's interesting. It looks interesting to have a bit of shadow. It's not a problem. I do get. I do normally get get to it eventually. <laughs> you just have to be fucking patient with me.
gonna go negative positive for this. Um, I do wish my future husband Luigi could be with me. I really miss him. Just uh, trying to get my video work here. He's a photocopier enthusiast as well. So I'm trying to get this to get on, get his attention. I'm trying to get on the news so that I could locate him so that we could meet up somewhere and get married and put the past behind us because the past has really fucked me up and fucked up my life for many decades. So I have to fucking well do something to find where he is. And the thing I find annoying is that the coronavirus is something the news channels seem to enjoy putting putting on because it, it just they, they seem to think that because it's about disease or death or or something similar they think that it's going to pull the ratings and they're going to get more people watching their show but it's but it shouldn't be about negative things all the time there's got to be a love story sometimes for something different but it's not easy i keep making videos i i send videos to facebook pages of tv shows or and try to put them in as prime time news because that's the slot i intend to push them into and i never get anything useful now that looks interesting but yeah, I, I never seem to get what I'm after, you know, they just keep rolling this coronavirus footage and I just can't seem to compete with it. It's it's really competitive and I don't feel don't that I don't feel like I'm able to compete with this uh, COVID nineteen footage. It just seems to to be the, the apple of the news channel's eye, the TV channel's eye, it just seems to be the the only thing they care about. They think that it, they think because it's to do with death and disease and destruction and shit that it's going to pull the ratings. I mean, I know that's traditional, that's the traditional type of thing, but we don't want, we don't need that all the time. We need to watch something that's more heartwarming, that's a lot more human. We don't want to keep watching negative stuff all the time. It's not healthy. It's not healthy, folks, to, to be exposed to all this negativity in the shows, in the TV shows. But the problem is they just keep doing it. They just keep fucking putting it in, thinking that it's the only way to win ratings. You've got to think outside the fucking box for a change folks we can't just keep doing what we think is is workable or, you know we don't need that and I'm trying to make a difference folks I'm trying to do something and I'm hoping that people will find the story between me and Luigi heartwarming now we don't seem to be getting what we want here so I'm trying to make make things a bit more heartwarming instead of this stupid disease and shit this stupid narrative that we have constantly inundating us bombarding us on television I'm trying my best you know and I make these demos and it costs me a lot of money to produce this shit this good shit that is But I can't compete with the conventional wisdom of television where everything has to be a fucking disaster or something deadly or, or, or damaging, uh, something that's not nice. Uh, we don't need that shit all the time. we got to fucking move away from it, folks. But what can I do? I'm, I don't have any power. I don't have any... I don't have anything, folks. Just this talent I'm trying to showcase. And I have other reasons why I want to go on primetime news. Uh, 
but it's difficult trying to compete with the current status quo of the TV industry. And the status quo, yeah, I don't like status quos of anything. Even the photocopy industry pisses me off. I get pissed off a lot because everything's about money. That's in business. And, of course, on television, it's about disease and destruction and death. It's like, yeah, everything that doesn't, that I find distasteful or somewhat useless has become the standard. And I just can't seem to break into the limelight through the news. And I've been working on this campaign now for more than eight years. So it's really difficult and really discouraging when things don't go as they should or as I think they should. It's really difficult, folks, uh, trying to make my way into the, into the full limelight. I want to make a difference, folks. I'm not interested in, oh, whatever. I just really get sick of this shit. I'm sick of being alone. I'm sick of just running on a treadmill with the hope that maybe a TV channel will fucking p pick up and play the news. That this is a good news, not so much bad news. Now, I'm wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. Looks a bit minimalist, folks. It's not quite what I was after. Uh, but basically... It's difficult trying to break in when there's so much traffic on the news, as in the, the uh, traffic of, in this case, being coronavirus here and there and everywhere. And I know it's, I know it's there to make money and to, but it shouldn't be about just making money. Surely the ratings could still go the right way. If you play something fucking difficult, Dif different, not difficult, different. Something different, something fresh, something invigorating instead of this stupid fucking narrative of negativity as a, as a whole. And I just can't break in until such time as you guys on the, in the TV room can fucking play my stuff. And yes, I know I use a lot of bad language, but it seems that, like negativity, bad language has a place. You know, you can bleep it out all you like. I don't care. It's okay. You can bleep it out. I don't expect you guys to play my, my language full force. I know you're going to have to beep it. You're going to have to edit. But that's all right. That's except, that is, I'm cool with that. You can just edit the shit out of my work as much as you need. You know, as long as you just play it. Give it a try. Give it a fucking try. Something different. Something fresh. That looks interesting. It's a bit minimalist, but I think someone out there will probably like it. Gotta go.